hello everyone welcome to wix ideas and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can add a scroll to the top button to your wix website so we're going to be using two different examples for this tutorial the first one is a method where we don't use any single line of code and the other one is one where we use a bit of code so before we begin please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and also don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions and also turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of future videos now first of all we're going to add an element or an, a vector image with an arrow symbol in it which also signifies that it's an arrow that scrolls you to the top so go over to your add element go to the decoratives and go to arrows here from here you can see a bunch of arrows that you can make use of but if you're not happy with any of this that's all right you can just click on more arrows and you can scroll all the way down to you see the one that you like for me i'm going to stick with this one here so i'm going to double click on that and add it to my page as you can see this is a dark button and we want to make it visible to the user and since this is a dark website we should make the arrow maybe a brighter color so go over to design from here you can change the fill color to maybe a brighter color like white and that is looking all good next you can also make sure that all the sides are equal and are well proportionate so go ahead and toggle this on and you can also click on this and go to our toolbar which you can enable from the tools and from the toolbar and change it to the size you want so let's make that half of what it currently is and i think this is looking up perfect the next thing we want to do is to go to link once you click on link you're going to go to the top or bottom of page so this is the section where you decide where you want it to scroll you to whether to the top of the page or to the bottom of the page so since we want to scroll to the top of the page you can leave this one selected and you can click on done now once you're all set you're going to go over again and we want to pin this to the screen as you can see this only scrolls with the screen or with the page and we don't want that we want it to float or act as a sticky element that goes with us anywhere we scroll through the page so go ahead and right click on that element you can find over here we have a function called the pin to screen and that enables you to pin it to anywhere you want it to be and usually it's always pinned to the right of the screen but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to pin it to the middle so that you can also see it better how it looks and this also we have further options which are the horizontal offset and this is the position you want it to go away from the middle of the screen right or left so i want to leave mine just at the center of the screen and that is all looking good and the vertical offset is another example that also allows you to scroll away further from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen all right so i'm gonna leave mine at 20 and i think this is looking all perfect so as you can see this scrolls with you as you go through the page and let's preview that to see how that looks like awesome so you can see this works perfectly and what you want to do is when you click on it it's going to bring you all the way to the top of the screen now another thing is this only shows on the home page for example if you go to a different page you're not going to find that button there and that is not what we want to do we want to make sure that it shows on, on all page of the website and you can easily do that by going back to your detail so you can click on the element and then you can go over to your toolbar and over here you can see show on all pages and then make sure that this shows on all pages you can also enable that option by right clicking on the element and from here you can see show on all pages so now this is now showing and available for all your pages of your website and your site users can scroll to the top of the page from anywhere they are on your website so as you can see from the contact us they can also scroll to the top at anywhere they are on your website all right so this is the first part which enables you to add a scroll to the the top without any single line of code and i believe this is the easiest way you can actually enable this function now the other function is we're going to make use of wix code and we're going to need the help of our velo reference so we're going to need a couple of apis here and the first thing we want to do for our page is to go to the dev mode and turn on our dev mode and the dev mode is what enables us to write code into our page now click on this element here and when you click on that you can see that from the properties panel it tells us to open our master page and the reason for this is because this element is a global element that means it shows on all the pages of your website and if you're going to write a code for an element that shows on all pages of your website you're going to write it in a different tab called the masterpage.js so this is a tab for code for only the home page but this is the tab for code for an element that shows on all pages of your website such as your headers and your footers and also this element we just created so now what we need to do next is to give this a name on id so we're going to call this scroll to top all right so that is looking perfect and then we also want to add another reference so we're going to go over to the wix window and we're going to get a function called the get bounding rec which returns information about the window and this is a function that returns a promise that resolves to an object containing information about the current window size document size and the current scroll 
position so we want to get the position that the user is and what we want to do with this is that we want to hide this button element when the user is already at the top of the page so that is the goal of this and so we're going to go back to the code and we're going to go ahead and import the wix window so go ahead and import wix window perfect so as you can see the wix window has a lot of functions but the function that we're mostly interested in is the get bounding rect this is where we're going to check where the user is currently on the page and also to make sure that it is hidden when they're already at the top of the page so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a function that is going to check if the user is already at the top of the page so we're going to create an export function and we're going to call that scroll to top offsets Alright, so inside of this function, we're going to create something called the threshold and the threshold is going to be the distance from the top of the page where we want the button to be hidden. So what we want to do is that, for example, let's visit this on the live site. So what we want to do is if the user has scrolled between this position to maybe this position, for example, like that, then we want to show the button. If they're already here, we want to hide it. So that is the threshold or the level where I want the button to be either hidden or shown if they're already there. So for me, I'm going to put the threshold at 200. I'm going to show you how that works and how you can change it to make it work that way. And then next, we're going to use the Wix window dot get bounding rect, which is the function that we already saw. And this function also holds information about the distance that the user is from the top of the page. So as you can see, what we're interested in is the scroll. So once we have called this function, we're going to use the then method and then we're going to go ahead and add a parameter that it returns. So we're going to say this is the scroll offset and then we're going to add the arrow function and inside of this arrow function, okay, that is a mistake. And then inside of this arrow function, we are going to also create another constant which we're going to call the scroll y offset so the scroll y offset is the vertical distance from the top of the page we're going to use this parameter here and since it's an object we're going to use the dot notation to get the scroll and also we're going to use another dot again to get the y so this is the distance that the user is and we're going to check if the user is already on this distance that we have defined which are both numbers so this is a number and this is also a number so this one right here is the position the user is all right and then what we want to check is we want to check if the user has exceeded this threshold here or the position where we're going to show the button or hide the button so let's use an if statement to check that so let's see if the user position is greater than the threshold which is this one right here then what we want to do is we want to show the button or hide the button now remember from here that we have the scroll to top id this is the id of this element here and you can change it to anything that you want but for me let's just go ahead and copy that and from here we're going to use the elements selector to select that element and if truly the user has exceeded then we want to show this button here now else if the user has not exceeded it yet and that means that the user is at the top of the page we want to go ahead and copy all of this and paste it to the next line and change this hide and change this show to hide all right so this is the condition that we're going to be checking and this code is not done yet now we're going to write another code inside of our ready function and what we're going to be adding here is a set interval function that is going to check at all times to see if the user has gotten there all right so since this element shows on all page we're not able to use the on view port but we're only able to use a set interval function now a set interval function is a function that runs whatever is inside of it for every interval so for example i want this code to run for every 200 milliseconds which is a very very fast way of running the code we're going to run this function inside of it so you're going to go ahead and copy this function and then place it inside of your set interval all right so this is all looking good so when the page load you're going to continue to check for the condition that we have defined here so let's go ahead and preview this and also publish and we can also see this on the previous site and also on our live site now you can see from right here that the button element has been hidden and when we scroll away from it you can see that it is shown and when we scroll back up you can see that that has been hidden so this is the kind of functionality that we want to do once it scrolls to the top we want to hide it and when we scroll it down we want to show it all right so as you can see this is the threshold that we have defined this is the height that we want it to show if the user has scrolled away from the top of the page but let's say you want it to be somewhere here then you
you can reduce that to maybe 100 or you can also go ahead and increase it to whatever level that you want the button to be hit. Let's have an example. Let's say we want to make it to be maybe further away. So go over to your threshold and you can change this to 400. So now this time around, let's take a look at this on our live website since that is where our visitors are going to be visiting and not the preview site. So that is the most important part of your website, which is the live site. So as you can see from here, we are being able to scroll all the way to this section before the button element shows and that is exactly what we wanted so that is it with this tutorial thank you very much for watching i hope you did enjoy this tutorial if you did let me know in the comment section and also let me know which of the examples that you use the one without code or the one with code so thank you very much please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like also turn on your notification to be the first to know future videos and see you in the next tutorial